So in this week's video we're looking at Immersive Reader. It's a tool available in a number of Office 365 online packages including OneNote Online, Word Online, Outlook Online and it's also available on the OneNote desktop. It's also available as an add-on on the latest Edge browser. But you can find out more. I'll put a link in the description that shows you where how else it's available. So where do you find it? Well, if you go into the view function, I'm going to be showing you on OneNote Online, but it's the same on Word Online as well. And then go to Immersive Reader. It brings up Immersive Reader. And you can customize the size of the font. You can have increasing space on, so the space increases as you increase the size of the text. You can have that turned off. You can choose between a sans serif font such as Calibra or a serif font such as Sitka. I prefer Calibra. And then you can alter the color of the text. So for some students, the high contrast of white background with black text is, is not easy for them to view. So they could mimic a yellow overlay or they could choose any of these colors here. Typically, they're the first six are what show. If we then move across, we can turn on the syllable function, and that will show how to help. It will help students to pronounce words because it show how the words are broken down. So in this case, as, dun, ma, tin is broken down, or superleg era. So it's a useful thing if if students are learning to read that they can break those larger words down by syllable uh, to make it easier for them to understand how to pronounce them. We can highlight certain words. So we're looking at maybe just the nouns. We can highlight those. We can also highlight the verbs and the adjectives. So it's a really useful way of uh, helping your students to understand what a verb is, what an adjective, what a noun is. And then we've also got a line focus tool. So that allows us to read it line by line. And we can use the arrow on the side to skip down as we go, making it easier to read. And you can choose whether that's a single line or multiple lines together. And then the final thing we can do with it is we can, if we click on the cog here beside the play button, we can choose the speed which it's read back to us. And we can choose whether it's read back to us with a female or a male voice. Now I've muted my volume because my speakers are too close to my microphone, but if we were to press play, we would hear them read it and it selects the word that it's reading. So there you have it, a really useful function. I'm going to pause that for a moment. A really useful tool that I could see being used in many different ways to support your students with their reading. And it's a great way if, uh, like me, at the end of a long day, you're tired and you just want to read back a document that you've written, then you can use the reader to play it back to you. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please remember to share it, subscribe to the channel, and go me again soon for another EdTech video. Thanks for watching.